Hello guys, welcome to the Drivers Hub. My name is Bhavneer Vaswani and you're watching the first episode of Project A4. As you guys know, this is my new car. It's an Audi A4 V6 3-litre TDI and uh, it is a little old. It's 12 years old, 2010 car and uh, it's got a little bit of uh, refurbishment that is needed. All of the suspension is going to be replaced. Everything except the springs because Everything is gone, bushings need to be replaced, the lower arms have been hammered into place and the knuckles are in a very bad condition. So, everything is getting replaced. Yeah, time to get to work. So we have gotten most of the suspension bits and uh, knuckles and arms out and uh, we now we can really see the damage. So over here on the top of the knuckles you can see that it's been hammered into place and there are quite a few spots like right here and uh, on the back of this arm as well. And these things are not supposed to be this flimsy which is quite concerning. and. Uh, yeah, I'm actually in shock that they are in this bad state and I was actually still driving it. And uh, now I'm not going to make that mistake again. Uh, yeah, so all of this is going to be replaced with brand new things. And this is the old strut. The previous owner had put these spring buffers, which kind of uh, reduce the travel suspension and it prevents you from like bottoming out if you're going really hard and it kind of stiffens it a little bit but it gives you a very dead feeling in uh, while driving and this is something that I am going to get off because I think that removing this is going to make the driving so much better regardless of all this pain uh, but now looking at this yeah well I'm just happy we are getting it replaced So this is the new knuckle that I've got, well new is uh, from a used car so it is fairly uh, well maintained and very little run so this is the new part. It was second hand because a new one costs well above a lakh and we don't really have that kind of budget. But uh, while removing the knuckle and the upper arm, uh, we've realized that these bolts are not stretch bolts and um, Basically, this one goes and ties up here with the upper arm and it's supposed to be tightened in order for this to like basically squeeze in and this bolt should be made of aluminum so that it can have a little bit of stretch in it. But this is a hardware bolt just found in any hardware store and it has no stretchability to it has damaged our knuckles and that's why we needed a new knuckle and we are going to be replacing all of these stretch bolts because these are absolutely useless and they are only going to ruin my car. So you guys have seen this stretch bolt, stretch bolt that was on uh, the upper arm but this is not what it's supposed to be. It's thin and it's not aluminum so it's not going to have any stretching characteristics because you need to have a little bit of stretch for the knuckle and the upper arm to be nice and flush and have that little bit of tolerance. This is what it should be, a thick bolt with lots of threading and made of aluminum for it to have a little bit of stretch. I'm not going to be able to stretch it now, but this has that little amount of stretch for it to be able to accommodate the upper arm and the knuckle from here. So this is exactly what we need and we're going to order this. This is what they're going to be throwing in the bin.
So we've got some more parts that have just come up. These are the control arms and the lower arm. Those have just turned up and now we are kind of ready to start putting everything back in place. So we are going to do one small thing which is clean all of the gunk and dirt from all of the other parts, remove all of the auxiliary parts that were like the rotor, the piece of metal that comes behind it also and put it into our new knuckles, lower arm and control arm. Put it all together and put it back. We're going to be waiting for new stretch bolts and uh, slowly, slowly we're going to piece it back, but we're going to piece it back nice and clean. So it's going to look as good as new. Now, this is the rear strut and uh, we didn't expect it to be very bad, but it's actually really bad. It shouldn't be this easy to compress the thing. And uh, as you can see, the rebound is pretty okay. But uh, yeah, this wasn't a very necessary uh, replacement, but I did it for my own peace of mind and a little bit of prevention, which is always good. So how much was the damage exactly? Well, not cheap. The entire front suspension replacement and rear strut amounted to 2.2 lakh rupees. The general service cost around 35,000 rupees and a second-hand set of knuckles costed 50,000 rupees, adding up to a whopping 3.05 lakhs for just fixing up the suspension and a general service. So the series wouldn't be complete without something going rather wrong. And as you can see, the work has stopped in the car because of one part. This is the strut mount bracket, basically your upper arms tie up over here and it stands like this with your suspension over here and it basically holds the strut right here in the middle which uh, now the bracket is basically cracked and uh, because of this we cannot fit anything until one of these parts uh, comes basically until I spend more money so yay me and poor bank account of mine but this is something that we're going to replace now strut mount bracket. So the guys at Mechanics are pretty fast. So within what, 45 minutes, we are done with uh, assembling the front suspension setup but uh, we are waiting for two parts uh, if you remember i needed to order a couple of stretch bolts because we had used the previous owner had used uh, hardware bolts which were not the right kind of material or the right kind of type of bolt so we are waiting for those two singular bolts and then we are done but um, until those two bolts don't arrive the car is not drivable those are the stretch bolts that hold the knuckles in place so yeah another waiting game so we are under the suspension assembly which is kind of almost everything new you can see the control arm is shiny new the lower arm is shiny new there's a new strut new knuckles new upper arms and everything that is handling the suspension and the wheels is all pretty much new except well the caliper the springs and uh, maybe the steering uh, linkage that's it but uh, this was something that was very necessary because the other parts were very damaged and you could feel them while uh, driving and this is going to make this A4 drive like a cloud again and that's one thing that I'm very excited about. Yes, uh, it has taken us a while to get these parts but um, rare car, it is a luxury product and uh, not many of them are around so we have tried to source them as soon as possible but it has still taken us like a week but uh, part and parcel of the game and it's something that i had expected now there is just two bolts that need to be replaced which are right up here the uh, knuckle connecting the upper arm those two stretch bolts currently are uh, not up to spec but we are going to be replacing them and i'm not going to be driving the car until and unless those two stretch bolts get replaced and after that we'll be done there is one more problem that i have uh, that i really want to get changed is this the carpet in this wheel arch is absolutely disintegrated and my fog lamp assembly is completely exposed to whatever dirt and grit comes from the streets and that is not good at all it might just break something inside which is something i don't want to do so i'm also going to be waiting for this little carpet yeah Lots of waiting. 
So we are done with the entire suspension setup and uh, we are putting the wheels back on to put the car for alignment. But uh, I think it's a good time to talk to you guys about why do I have Soham's old wheels. Well, this car came with RS3 rim stock and that's the wheels I bought the car with. But it came with one big fat crack across the spoke. So for now, I've got Soham's old wheels and uh, I mean, soon enough I will be having to get new wheels. But I have done the right thing and I've refurbished all four wheels, gotten them perfectly made circle again and uh, I have wrapped new tyres onto these wheels. These are Yokohama Advan A13s which are pretty good. Their compound is rather hard so they take a while to get warm and grippy but they last a very good time. So this is pretty much the perfect balance between a lot of uh, grip and low life and uh, this is a pretty good setup, I think, currently, for now. And maybe if I get a different set of wheels, I will get a set of uh, Sport Contact 5 from Continental, because those are actually much better. So it's been a few weeks since the car last got onto the lift, and uh, I've been testing all of the suspension bits that have come, and uh, all of the bolts that have been replaced. So the car is running pretty fine, except one little bit. There is an alignment issue because of the bad quality of wheels that it was running on. But, as I said before, I had to replace them, which is exactly what I've done. So I'm going to show you guys a little sneak peek of what the rims are, and we're going to end it right here. Thank you so much for watching. Do share, like, and subscribe in order to never miss out on any single video out of us. And without further ado, these are the rims that I have got.